in dozens of cities and counties. Indoor mask mandates are back. Illinois will join several other states that have reinstituted statewide indoor mask requirements, regardless of vaccination status. And the reverse is also true. Some places have enacted bans on mask mandates. There will be no mask mandate uh, imposed. Either way, are these mandates technically legal? Mask mandates imposed on the state level are in fact constitutional because going all the way back to a 1905 Supreme Court decision and then subsequent court decisions that have been in the same line, states and localities have been given the right, according to the courts, to impose mandates when it is in the public interest. Arguments that mask mandates violate an individual's constitutional right to liberty might not cut it with the Supreme Court. That's because courts weigh the government's interest in protecting the health of its citizens against an individual's civil liberties when evaluating a state's action in a pandemic. This goes back to 1905, when the Supreme Court ruled in Jacobson versus Massachusetts that under a state law, local health authorities could compel adults to receive the smallpox vaccine. Justice Harlan wrote the majority opinion in the 1905 ruling. And essentially, he said that the Board of Health had deemed vaccinations necessary for controlling the smallpox epidemic that was then going on in Cambridge. And he said that it was necessary for the public health and the public safety. And those are the grounds on which he made the decision. That court essentially established a precedent that has never been reversed. Fast forward to today, polling shows nearly two out of every three Americans say they support their state or local government, requiring face coverings in public spaces. Still, mask mandates are re-emerging as the pandemic's latest cultural and political flashpoint. Texas is one of at least seven states that have enacted bans on mask mandates. However, legal challenges have complicated Governor Greg Abbott's efforts to ban these mandates in schools. We have a saying in Texas, is, uh, if you don't like the weather, stick around, it'll change. And these, uh, these mask mandates debates are uh, changing not on a weekly, not on a daily, but an hourly basis. Some school districts have ignored Abbott's mask mandate ban or have found creative ways around it. Paris ISD really found a workaround for this. They decided yesterday that they were requiring masks to be part of the dress code when their students head to school tomorrow. The varied responses from school districts and local officials have made it difficult for the government to enforce the mandate ban. You have so many different local jurisdictions with so many different orders, it's at least 50 school districts in eight, in eight cities and counties but you have to try almost every one of these cases. You have to challenge every one of these uh, local orders in order to achieve uh, uniformity. And that's why the attorney general attempted to get a blanket order out of the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court declined to give him, uh, give him that blanket order prohibiting the mass mandates. So I think you're just gonna play out, it's gonna play out on a daily and hourly basis. Meanwhile, the Biden administration has signaled its support for school districts requiring face coverings. I'm directing the Secretary of Education, an educator himself, to take additional steps to protect our children. This includes using all of his oversight authorities and legal action, if appropriate, against governors who are trying to block and intimidate local school officials and educators. The big takeaway is states and localities do have the right to protect the public health. And if the majority medical opinion says that vaccinations and masks are one way to protect the public health, then localities and the states have every right to enact these.